Hi guys, Robert I. Weiss from O'Brien Real Estate Brian and checking again with the 31th edition of the Bayside Property News of 2021, where real estate information is on the house. I'm a believer that money simply moves through different money markets, trying to find its next piece of growth. Today's markets are much the same as we have stock markets, bank deposits, property government bonds, and to a lesser degree super, and to a high risk degree cryptocurrency. So where is money moving to right now? Global stock markets are unscattered due to high vaccination rates occurring across the globe, which is the main reason why our Aussie markets won't see much change in the near term. In fact, US share markets rose to an all-time high just on Monday, and we have seen Aussie travel stocks improve as New South Wales vaccines hits a milestone. Six million dose mark, and, that, and that's with implementing the New South Wales Premier likely to announce potential easing restrictions in September later this week. If we look at the property market, it is also strong and it looks like it will remain this way with the low interest rate environment until at least 2024, as confirmed by the Reserve Bank. Then there is the bank deposits and the market is interesting. About 30% of people still believe that the bank is the best place for their money. But the fact that is that interest rates are lower than inflation rate, so therefore it's safe, but your wealth is locked in in the reverse gear. People are saving up 12.5% and considering many purchases of cars, TVs and home improvements have already happened. We should expect real estate and stock market growth will continue to rise nicely over the next two to three years, while interest rates remain as low as they are. This week, domain.com.au reported its Melbourne's auction clearance rate at 47%, which is quite different to other outlets that declared a clearance rate in the 90s. The difference being the way withdrawn properties are treated. Of course, with COVID, some people are deciding to postpone their auction. However, some outlets are then recording those are unsold properties. The Re reality is some may pass in and some may sell well. Either method is not 100%. Correct, but in this week's case, we only had two properties passed in. The main edits for this week are, COVID is now also in New Zealand, having recorded 41 more cases on Tuesday. They are now at 148 cases linked to the Auckland outbreak. So far, 112 of the AXS 200 have reported earnings with declared dividends totaling 26.8 billion, up an amazing 93% on a year ago. And lastly, this graph below speaks the dry arguments. We are having with available properties on the market. Without being able to conduct one-on-one -on -one inspections at the moment, you can understand why listings are so low. The reality will be similar to 2020, that once we are open, we'll see stock levels rise and people moving on rather quickly with their real estate sales and listings. That's all for the week, I'm Robert Iowais. And remember, the information provided is on a general nature. You should always seek independent, legal, financial, taxation, and any other advice into your unique circumstances. Please be safe, hope everyone is well. If there's anything we can assist with, please let me know on 0413 779 604.